awesome. So that's number two here. Let's go. Uh, let's go to number three. So number three is asking us, uh, what is the square root of 21? So what is the square root of 21? And what we can do is we can, uh, we, what we can do is we can actually, uh, we know the square root kind of looks like this, this kind of looks like this sign over here. And we know it, it's 21 in the in, inside the square root, right? So it's asking us, what is the square root of 21? And what we could do with this, to this question is we could try to simplify it in terms of a perfect square. So we could try see if we can find whether or not this is a perfect square. Or we can basically convert it to what I call a simplified radical form. So simplified radical form to see if we can get an integer and also a um, <clears throat> and also a uh, radical as well to simplify this so if we look at 21 here um, I know it's not an even number but I know this here is divisible uh, by 3 so if I divide by 21 by 3 here I'm going to get root 3 times uh, 21 divided by 3 here is 7, right? Divided by 7 here. So I have root 3 times 7 here. Both of these guys, <clears throat> sorry, both of these guys are prime numbers, right? So that means that we have, the most simplified form of root 21 here is simply just um, just 21. So in this case, uh, this isn't really, like, there's no really prime factors here. So we basically have, just have to solve what root 21 here, here, here is. What we can do, what we can use is, again, we can use the uh, method ask solution for us to figure out kind of up to like two decimal points as to how to figure, um, how to kind of uh, um, figure this out in terms of decimals here. So maybe I'll show you that. I don't know if they show you here. Yeah, they didn't really show you here, um, but just a little recap. So if I have 21 here, I'm going to find two, what, two numbers multiplied by each other would be closest to 21. In this case, it would be four, right? Four times four is closest to uh, 16 here. Five times five is 25, but it goes over than 21. So we're gonna put four and four here, right? So four times four here is 16. And we're gonna have five here. And then I'm gonna simply add two zeros. Right? I'm gonna add two zeros here. And then I'm gonna multiply um, our quotient here, or our quotient here, by eight, right, or by two to get uh, eight for our second column here, and then uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna I'm gonna start having decimals here, like so. So it's, it, that, so now it's asking us, okay, I have forty eight, and then I have five hundred here. So what I can do is I can. Um, um, I, I can do something, uh, I can do, I, I can find another, uh, place for, um, for a decimal here, right? So if I were to add, um, if I were to add, let's say, a five, four point five eight, um, if I were to add, like, uh, uh, I'm thinking of a number that goes into um, uh, goes into 500 from 48 here. I believe this would be kind of like, um, uh, uh, kind of, kind, it would be kind of using um, um, something that's greater than uh, greater than 10 here for the, for this 500 here. But let me just let me just. Um, let me see if I can approximate approximate that for you um, in terms of the uh, the method of solution here. Um, we already know it's actually not in it's it's, it's in the uh, it's not in the simple it's not, it's it's already in simplified form here. Um, so we we really we really can't um, we really can't actually uh, look into this and try to figure out uh, whether whether or not. Um, uh, whether or not we can actually grab some prime factors in order, in order for us to kind of solve uh, solve something like so. 
Uh, so let me give me a second here. So I'm gonna let me uh. So let me redo this question. So I have, I, I have four here and I have 500, right? So I'm gonna multiply this by two. So I'm gonna get eight here as my factor here. And then I'm thinking of a number that goes into, uh, I'm thinking of a number squared here that can go into 500. So let's see, if I have 80, let me try 84. 84 times four would give me 336. What about 85 times five? Could be 425 and 86 times 6, it could be 516. So I would have to put 5 here as my next number. And this number would be 5 here. And then uh, 85 times 5 would be uh, 425. Subtract those two numbers, I would get 75 here. And then I can add two zeros. And then again, I have now. Um, I have now this is this here is a five um, so I'm gonna have 85 plus 5 would make up my new guy here which is 90 and I'm thinking of a number in basically this digit here and this digit here to get go into 7500 so let me try 90 90 97 times 7 would give me 63,000 sorry 6,349 and then 908 times 8 would give me 7,264, which I think would be the closest here. So I'm gonna put an eight here, eight here, this would be seven, two, six, four. Subtract those two numbers, I get 296, I believe. And this one here, again, I don't, I don't really care about two decimal places, but this here is our answer for a square root of 21, right? 4.58 here is approximately, it's approximately, 4.58 here. Right? Well, you just use the method of solution to prove that um, to prove that this here uh, equals 4.58. So I'm going to say the solution here is um, is uh, is is correct because they cannot simplify square root, a square root of 21. Can also use method as long division method to solve for the or to approximate the square root of 21.